Hello. Well, today I'm going to talk about a movie that is this year uh, 25 years old. It's a film I just watched not too long ago. And it's one that I know I've said this quite a bit, but I don't know what more I can say that is brand new that hasn't already been said about this film. And that is, of course, Heat, starring Al Pacino. Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer, Michael T. Williamson, Wes Studi, uh, Ashley Judd, Natalie Portman, uh, Tom Sizemore, John Voight, Danny Trejo. There's so many big names in this film. It's directed and written by Michael Mann. Um, uh, and this is a remake of a television film. Uh, L.A. Takedown, which was uh, an unsuccessful pilot uh, that he then it was reworked just for a movie. Um, and then he readapted it, like rewrote it, expanded it, uh, made it almost twice as long. The original film is like 90-some minutes. This film is almost three hours. It is an epic in the sense of the scope. You know, the characters are incredible. Performances, which is fantastic. Pacino's uh, detective, Vincent Hanna, is an incredible character. Um, especially when you contrast that with De Niro's uh, Neil McCauley. And um, you see these guys and how they're great at their jobs, mm. as well as... Interesting how it compare and contrast like their lives, you know. Pacino's on, and he says he's in his third marriage, and it's really much on that downward slope. Um, whereas, uh, you know, De Niro's characters on Neil's, he he's, he gets into a relationship, and it's going pretty well, uh, for the most part, you know. Obviously, as the film. Uh, heads to a close. There's some conflict because she, you know, spoiler, she finds out what he does, and um, he, you know, he wants to go away with her, but she, uh, yeah, wants to go go away with her. It's just sort of like really leave their, his life behind. Um, Val Kilmer is married. Uh, Ashley Judd, and they have a son. And he loves, he loves her, but they have problems. Um, and he, uh, you know, he just really, uh, you, you get the sense that he, uh, it essentially wants things to work out, but there are many problems they have that they have to work out. Um, well, Hank Azaria is in this, uh, for people who are Simpsons fans, get to see him in this film. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, uh, obviously... Because it's the first time Pacino and De Niro uh, are on screen together. That's a huge thing for this film. Before, they were in The Godfather Part Two, but they never shared any scenes together because De Niro played a young Marlon Brando and is in the past and therefore is incongruent to the present of The Godfather Two. It's the present. It's like the... 40s, 50s, you know, late 40s, early 50s, that era, and, um, he, you know, they just can't, you know, and so Pacino and the president can't, you know, meet with, uh, uh, and interact with, uh, <clears throat> his father. 
in uh, in Godfather Two, like he did in the first one. So this was a big thing, you know. That was a this was a huge deal back in '95, the first time ever they're on screen together, and you see them at a coffee shop, and it's and they're just and that scene is incredible, you know. It's just. It's just fantastic. Um, uh, the, the dynamic between those two, you know, there's a reason why they're considered the greatest actors of their generation. Hmm. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I'm not even tired, which makes no, which even makes it even make less sense. And I'm not actually filming this at night. For a change, so and I got I slept well, so I have no excuse. Uh, well, whatever, I guess we're just one of those things. Anyway, the dynamic, you know, between the those these two and the, that scene, you know, you're really able to see why they are obviously considered the best of their generation. Like if you had seen their films before, you know, Godfather films. Scarface, uh, like Taxi Driver, and the stuff De Niro worked with uh, with Scorsese in the seventies and eighties, well, nineties. No Cape Fear. Like even if for whatever reason people just didn't really think much, for whatever reason, just didn't think a whole lot of. Oh, these are the two greatest actors of their generation. Um, this I think this film really shows just how great they are, and how well they work off each other. Hmm. <sighs> and just how uh, Michael Mann utilizes them. They, they, they're so iconic, especially at this point in their careers. Scarface, Michael Corleone. And Travis Bickle, Jake LaMotta, um, you know, Serpico, uh, and Vito Corleone. You know, it's, they're so iconic, and they just are. Uh, he utilizes the fact that people love them and they want to see them on screen together. And it takes a while. Till they're finally in a scene together, and yet they're never framed where you see both of them, like at the table, like at the side, so they're both in frame. It's always see Pacino, it's over De Niro's shoulder, so if anything, you see the back of his head or his shoulder. And if it's to De Niro, you see the back of Pacino's head or his shoulder. You never see them frame the same. Um, which then, of course, you know, later in the film, there's this, the, the famous shootout at, at the bank robbery. Um, one of the best shootouts in film history, if not the best. Because uh, honestly, I can't really think of one that uh, comes close to it, honestly. Um, the shootouts of uh, Public Enemy, uh, with Christian Bale and Johnny Depp. Uh, those are good, um, which was also a film by Michael Mann. But I still think this is the best. This is just fantastic. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. It's like one of those things that's been said so many times. There's just nothing new to say about it, except, you know, I do love this film. I enjoy it. Um, people often comment how it's unfortunate this film got no Academy Award nominations. Um, not even for like something like sound, which the average person won't really ever care about. They won't really care about sound or sound editing or any of that stuff. Compared to like, you know, best picture, director, you know, it's screenplay, uh, acting categories, even music like song and score um, it's one of those things that uh, 
uh, you know, people are, are surprised at. Um, but, you know, as I've said bef before, um, well, Academy Awards are, they are huge and they are a big, they are something, uh, in terms of the industry and what co constitutes with recognition. At the same time, there are decisions made that, uh, I myself don't always agree with, like what films are and aren't nominated. Um, and I do agree this film should have gotten nominated for a bunch of awards. Though then again, you have a lot of huge films uh, that year. Uh, Braveheart was the huge film of 95. You know, wins picture and director. Um, and that is a great film. Um, but I think this film... Uh, should have been up there at the awards with it, even if it lost uh, picture and director uh, to Braveheart. At the very least, should have been recognized. Um, you know, Mel Gibson did a great job on Braveheart. You know, I know it's that film is uh, inaccurate and with its historical uh, accuracies, but you know. Once you get past that, it's just a great film, you know. This is a great film also. Um, I'll probably say this is, The Heat is my favorite film of 1995. Um, but yeah, in terms of awards, I, I, uh, sometimes it's kind of hard, just because sometimes my favorite movies of a year, why well, I love them, and well, I might think they're, they're like the best. Like it comes to awards sometimes, you know, maybe another film uh, in terms of awards may be more, a bit more deserving of like the title of best picture or director. Though with this, the year this film came out, I'm not so sure about that. I can't recall. I, I have to, I'd have to rewatch Braveheart and see if I agree with its winning director and picture. Um, loved the work that Mel Gibson did in that film, you know, acting and directing and all. You know, he did a fantastic job. But Michael, Michael Mann did an incredible job too. And, um, you know, uh, sort of like, you know, the credit where credit's deserved. I just, uh, you know, I just love this film. It's incredible. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, it, it would be fantastic just to see a film like this have been nominated for awards like that. Um, I, uh, though I have a feeling like if, uh, if like De Niro and Pacino got nominated for actor, uh, they could cancel each other out, so... Might not have won if they were both nominated, um, you know, because that kind of happens a uh, good deal of the time. You know, they get uh, just get uh, canceled out, unfortunately. Um, but that said, uh, I just love this film, and uh, yeah, I didn't talk about the ending because I'm pretty sure most people have seen this, but on the off chance somebody hasn't, but they've heard a lot about Heat, they want to watch Heat, they might watch Heat sometime soon, watch it, and the ending is like, just, just wow, um, that's all I can say, that was just, that's just been my thought anytime I've seen this movie is just like wow even though I've seen it many times it's still just it's still a great ending um, any and it also unfortunate too you know in a way you know and it seemed that you know what I mean it's unfortunate yet it was gonna end one way or another uh, obviously because the movie has a runtime but just the way the film is 
it's going to end up this way or the other way. Uh, so, you know. Yeah. That's really all I got to say uh, about this film. Uh, I love it. It's fantastic. Um, and if you haven't seen it, uh, I recommend it, especially if you're a fan of Al Pacino and Robert De Niro and their work as actors. And if you love the films of Michael Mann, uh, it made The Insider with Al Pacino and Russell Crowe. He's also made Public Enemies, as I mentioned. He uh, has produced various films, including The Aviator. Uh, Scorsese is The Aviator. He also made Manhunter, the first film to ever have uh, Hannibal Lecter, you know, played by uh, Brian Cox, um, which is a cult film now. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a fantastic film. Um, what do you think? Uh, is it? Do you think it's good? Uh, uh, or are you not a fan of this film? Um, if you like, you can comment uh, your thoughts in the comment section of uh, this video, or perhaps uh, another, uh, or if you're found this on social media somewhere, you can comment there. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all I have to say. I hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you'll have a great weekend and a great week. And I'll see you next time.